This is a quick tutorial on how to sync something like a source from a field recorder and a camera all in Premiere Pro with the click of one button. Would you like to learn how to do that? Well, let's find out. By the way, my name is Javier Mercedes, and if you are into Premiere Pro tutorials or hearing advice from inspiring individuals pursuing their passions, click that subscribe button because you will not regret it. With the field recorder recording and the camera recording at the same time, what's always best is to do a clap on camera like this. Later on inside Premiere, you'll see that clap as an attack transient, and it makes it visually easier to sync audio within Premiere. But with this technique, you may not need to use that. Just remember that if you forgot to clap at the beginning of a take, try and do a clap at the end of a take after everything's done before you stop the recording. That way you can sync to the back end of a recording. I have to do this all the time for my podcast that I host on my channel, Passion and Progress, and that uses three cameras in one field recorder. So that's four sources altogether. Right now we're only gonna be doing three sources. Here are the files from my Zoom recorder, and then here's that take that I just did at the beginning. We are going to drag those into the project panel on Premiere Pro. Quick pro tip. If you do not know what to do with your sequence settings at the very beginning, all you got to do is take one of your video files and drag it down here to this little paper, and then that will create a sequence with the parameters from that specific video file. Now that I've created this, I'm going to delete this files and drag my three sources in. So I'm recording from my a7 III and I have a little Rode microphone on here. And I also have my podcast mic, the Shure SM7B, going into through this XLR cable into this field recorder. So I'm syncing those two, but I'm also taking the file that you see here with this behind the scenes camera and I'm gonna sync that as well. The next thing we need to do is take all the files and put them on their own unique tracks within the timeline. Right here we have my behind the scenes camera, I'm going to leave this on V1 and A1. I'm also going to highlight all of these tracks right here. Click this one. And since both of these are highlighted, it's not going to let me move both this one and this one at the same time up and down. So what I do is you can unlink selected and then move this up and move this down. A hotkey for doing that also is to click it. And then I believe for most people, it'll probably be option up on Mac. And then I think that's control up on Windows and that moves the clip up and then I'm going to move this clip down. The last thing we need to do is take our field recorder and move that to its own unique track. The reason why we put everything on its own specific track is because we will right click all of these and then we are going to go to synchronize. There's clip start, clip end, and then we can also click audio. What syncing to audio does is that Premiere looks at all of the audio from all the clips that you're giving it and it syncs it automatically and not by me manually. Watch what happens if I try and do this if I have my audio field recorder and this video track at the same time. I'm going to highlight them all and I can't synchronize. It won't let me. Definitely make sure that everything has its own track. Now that I have this here to synchronize, click audio and hit OK. And just like that, with a click of a button, the computer synced the audio for me, which is amazing. Remember how I told you to clap on camera? There are those claps and they look pretty in sync, right? Very in sync, to be honest. But let's say you need to move the audio and adjust it even more than what you see here. So what the computer did is it actually synced the audio to the frame rate. Right here, these little chick marks that you see, these chick marks are the measurement of frames. Right now with my sequence, there's 23 frames for every second. It's only gonna move the audio within these 23 frames. So in order to move this directly into sync, the audio, we need to go over here, show audio time units. Now, instead of going by 23 frames, now we're going by 44,000 samples per second. That's a big difference. Gonna zoom in. And let's say I wanna move this clip right there. And I'm just gonna keep nudging it over. And voila. This will only work with audio specific files. It won't work with audio that's attached to a video file. You can unlink it and then move the audio. But for me, all I need this for is the actual microphone that's in front of my face right here. With this being synced, now I can get rid of these two files and move this up. It will allow you to see an attack transient to line that back up. Let's link the field recorder audio to this top track. So highlight both tracks, right click and hit link. Now, as you can see, that top video track and my field recorder audio are linked and synced.
Do not forget to turn the audio units off after you've already synced. This will keep things so much cleaner in your edit moving forward by staying to frames instead of audio units. Syncing a field recorder and a camera within Premiere Pro with the click of a button. If you didn't know about this already, I hope this is a game changer for you in the future. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, live a life of abundance. And in the comments down below, let me know what you want me to tutorialize on the next video. Adios, guys.